happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Hopefully it cools down a little bit. It'd be nice to get out of this summer heat or get to the beach more often. Um, like I promised last week, I'm gonna give you guys some chair stretches you can do for your hips while we're sitting at the desk. These are things that you can do on a Zoom call um, and nobody would really know what's happening. So the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out the hip flexors. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, I'm not necessarily a fan of just passively sitting in a stretch. I really like active stretches. So we are going to utilize these positions and go through active stretches because they are more productive um, and you get more bang for your buck, which means you can get a lot more done in, a, in less time. So first one is gonna be for the hip flexors. So we're gonna scooch ourselves to the side of our chair. This can be done on a rolly chair. It can be done on a physio ball. It can be done on your dining room chair. It doesn't matter what type of chair. We're gonna take this leg and we're gonna swing it back here. So let me face sideways so you can see this. We're gonna swing this leg back, keep that toe planted. So I'm essentially in a lunge position right now. My belly is nice and firm because I wanna make sure I don't arch in here. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck my buns under as hard as I can, and then I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna tuck them under and relax. Tuck them under and relax. Go through a set of those, maybe 10. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my knee on the ground if you can. If you can't, you can stay on the foot. This time for some activity, I'm gonna try to drag my knee forward without actually doing it. So I'm gonna dig it into the ground and pull it forward. I'm trying to get my knee to do this without actually letting it move. So I'm gonna pull it forward for 10 seconds and relax. I'm gonna pull it forward for 10 seconds. Again, I'm digging it into the ground and forward and relax. And I'm gonna do a set of three of each of those. Okay, following that, since we stretched out the front, now we're gonna stretch out the back because we're spending so much time sitting on it, probably thinks we don't need it anymore. So this is called a figure four stretch. I wanna debunk something for you guys. If we go into our figure four stretch, and I, most of you have seen this before, and I push down on my knee, think about a seesaw. If I push on my knee down this way, the joint, the hip, where the femur, where it meets the joint here, is gonna elevate this direction. And what's sitting on top of that? Your pelvis. So we don't need to push down on the knee. If anything, we can lean forward into it and get a really nice stretch through there. So here's your setup. You're gonna take the foot, cross over at the ankle. Sit up really straight so my belly button is trying to get towards my calf. If you already feel a stretch here, hang out, okay? If you don't, you can take the chest and you're gonna go straight forward. So I'm not rounding over my leg like this, I'm just going straight forward. Now, again, if I was on a Zoom call here, you'd have no idea I was stretching my glutes out. To make this active, we are going to take our hand underneath the knee and I'm going to push into my hand. So I'm pushing down into my hand and then I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna push down into my hand, 10 seconds, and I'm gonna relax. And I'm gonna push into my hand, and relax. I'm gonna do that each side three times, hold those pushes for 10 seconds, and then see if I can get a little bit further next time I test it out. If you're feeling lazy and you just wanna kinda of hang out in this stretch, the position looks like this. I'm gonna take my whole torso forward so my back is nice and flat. Again, we're not here. We're chest forward. All right, if you know any of your office mates that could use a couple of stretches in their chair, please send this to them. Let's help our community get a little bit more healthy. I hope you guys are all staying cool and healthy and getting some activity in your day. Good luck on the homeschooling and if there is anything we can do, anatomy studies or biology is our specialty. We're more than willing to help you guys out. Um, and happy Monday.